I'm back at the workbench tonight for part three of Chevy Pi. Chevy Pi is my take on a video entertainment system for my Chevy Traverse. If you'd like a brief overview of the project, feel free to check out part one of this series. In part two of this series, I walked through the software setup and how the Wi-Fi was going to work on the Raspberry Pi. If you'd like to view that information, please check out this link to part two. In part three of this series, we'll be connecting the touchscreen to the Raspberry Pi, along with installing the Plex server to the Raspberry Pi and getting our first movie playing. The first step that we'll need to do is remove the case from the Raspberry Pi so that we can install the touchscreen. Eventually I'll be 3D printing a custom case for this Raspberry Pi, so I won't need the default case. This is the official 7-inch touchscreen for the Raspberry Pi created by the Raspberry Pi Foundation. It comes with a ribbon cable, some screws for mounting it, and some jumper wires. First up is to attach the ribbon cable to the adapter board for the screen. There are two little tabs to pop out here. We can then slide in the ribbon cable and go ahead and pop those tabs back in. Next thing we'll do is attach that ribbon cable to the Raspberry Pi. Finally, we can connect the jumpers. We're going to go ahead and connect red to pin 2 on the Raspberry Pi. Then we'll connect black, which is ground, to pin 6 on the Raspberry Pi. And then we need to connect those pins to the pin pins on the adapter board. Black goes to ground, and red goes to 5 volts. And we can go ahead and install our screws. And that completes our hardware installation. Now that we have the hardware set up, we can go ahead and fire up the Raspberry Pi and see if we get something on the display. And we got lights. We've got some Raspberry logos, and we seem to be booting. And we've got the Raspberry Pi desktop screen on here. Now that I have the 7-inch touchscreen wired up to the Raspberry Pi properly, I want to go ahead and get the Plex software configured and to get a network share set up so that I can copy movies over to the Raspberry Pi. Once those two things are set up, I should be able to open up a browser on the Raspberry Pi touchscreen and get an initial movie playing on the system. To get Plex installed on the Pi, we must first give AppGet the ability to run over HTTPS by installing App Transport HTTPS. Next, we need to download the signing key, and then we can add a reference to the official Plex repository. Finally, we can run AppGet update to update the repository information and then install the Plex Media Server. The last thing I will do is reconfigure the Plex Media Server to run under the Pi user account and then restart the service. I can now verify that Plex is working by visiting the built-in web server. Next, I want to be able to manually and automatically copy new movie files across the network to the Chevy Pi. This can be done via share folders by installing a Samba server onto the Raspberry Pi. The first step is to create a folder that the movies will be stored in and shared from across the network. I can then use AppGet to install the Samba server. Lastly, I can configure the server by setting the workgroup to Chevy Pi, configuring the settings and permissions for my shared Plex folder, and then using SMB password to grant Samba access to the Pi user account. Finally, I can connect to the network share and copy over a movie file to test with. Now that the movie file is copied over to the Plex folder, I can fire up the Plex web server and map that folder to the movies library in Plex. Once that is complete, the movies library will refresh and the movie is available to watch.
The final thing I want to do is configure my auto start file to automatically open up the browser to the Plex web page when the system boots. I've now successfully installed the touchscreen on the Raspberry Pi. I installed Plex. I set up a network share for the movies and copied over a test file and set up the Raspberry Pi to boot directly into Plex. Now it's time to turn on the Raspberry Pi and see if the setup works. The Raspberry Pi successfully booted into Plex. It looks like it still needs some work on configuring the interface so that it's more user friendly, but the videos are able to play and it appears to be handling the videos quite fine. That's it for part three of the Chevy Pi project. If you've got any suggestions on how I should implement the power management or build the enclosure, feel free to bring those up in the comment section below. If you'd like to watch any of the other videos related to the project, feel free to click the link to the playlist above. If you like the video, feel free to click the like button below, and if you want to continue to follow along with the project, please click subscribe. If you're curious about any of the hardware that I'm using in the project, feel free to check out the links below, and also check out the links to my social media accounts. That's it for now. I'll see you with the next video.